Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can remove a background from a photo in Microsoft PowerPoint. Now I'm gonna show you two different methods to remove a background. One of them works very well when you have a solid background and the other works very well when perhaps you have a more complex background. Now why would you wanna remove the background or maybe you wanna highlight the subject or you wanna put the subject in front of a different background. Whatever your reason, PowerPoint makes it very easy to remove a background. As full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee, and today I am going to be using the latest and greatest version of Microsoft PowerPoint that comes with Microsoft 365. However, even if you're using an older version of PowerPoint, you should also be able to follow along. All right, well, why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you step-by-step -step how you could remove a background. Here I am on my PC and I have Microsoft PowerPoint open. I'm gonna go ahead and click into a blank presentation and I can't remove a background from a blank presentation. I need to get some photos in here. To make sure that my presentation is of as high quality as possible, I spent a lot of time perusing the internet to find great looking model pictures and I'm gonna show you them in a moment. If you're following along, what you can do is you can drag and drop a photo onto your PowerPoint slide. You could copy and paste a photo in or you can do what I'm doing and click on insert up here on the ribbon and then go down to pictures and I'm going to select photos from this device. I happen to have two photos on my desktop like I said spent a lot of time finding these photos and yes that is your humble host. All kidding aside, the reason I chose these two photos is one of them has a solid background and the other one has a more complex background. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them side by side and I'm gonna show you how we could remove the background from both of these photos. Now one thing to call out here is when I click on a photo, you'll notice that an additional option appears on the ribbon called picture format. When I click off of the photo, that disappears again. When I click on the photo, once again, it appears. This happens with all objects within PowerPoint. Anytime you click on it, you'll see additional controls relating to that object that you have selected. So here I have my photo selected. And within here, what PowerPoint does is they provide a whole bunch of photo editing tools. You can do different corrections, you could apply different colors, you could apply different artistic effects. And there's a lot you can do. In a sense, PowerPoint serves as a basic photo or picture editor, and it does a pretty good job and it gets the job done. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna remove this somewhat off-white background. And the way to do that, what I'm gonna do is up here on the ribbon, there's an option called color. So we're gonna go ahead, let's click on color. And then within color, if I go down, there's an option that says set transparent color. I'm gonna click on this and what it'll do is when I click on a color, it'll, it'll make that color transparent in the photo. So now if I click on this one, what you'll see happened is it now removed that background from the photo. So now you see this text in back uh, and the background has been removed. Now that tool, if you go up to color and set transparent color, that works best when you have a solid background color. For something like this photo over here, it won't work as well if I try to use that here. And let's say I set this stone in back to the transparent color. My skin looks somewhat like the stone and so it won't work well. And also it didn't get the entire background. Uh, so this isn't gonna work. Now, if you have a more complex background like this and you wanna remove it, there is another tool within PowerPoint that will allow you to remove it. So if I go back up, I'm gonna click on the photo. I'm under picture format. If I go over to the left-hand side, there's an option called remove background. I'm going to click on that. What PowerPoint will do is it'll automatically look at the photo and it'll try to pick out the subject from the background. And in this case, it did a pretty good job here. What you'll see is this magenta color that you see uh, in back of the photo. This is the portion of the photo that it's going to remove. The part of the photo that it does not have any magenta on it, this is the part of the photo that it's going to keep. Now, overall, it did a good job, but you see that it missed my pants down here. And I would like to wear some pants. And if I go up and here we have the photo still selected, I have a few different controls related to background removal. I can mark areas to keep, I can mark areas to remove, I could also discard any changes I've made or I could keep the changes I've made. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna click on mark areas to keep and if I click on that, I notice a few things. First off, my pants have been removed. Now what you could do is you're simply going to select this tool and then I'm gonna drag over 
uh, the pants here and then I'm gonna release. And now what PowerPoint does is it looks at the section that you highlighted, and then it'll look for any other similar areas that are similar to what you highlighted. In this case, I just went straight down over my pants, and it found that all these other portions of my pants look similar to the section I highlighted, and it automatically pulled that in. Now I also see up here on my hair, it looks like it left out a little piece, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some more uh, to keep. You might have to go over a few times to get it to do it perfectly. I'm going to go over and select my hair and there now it's included my hair and that looks pretty good. Now let's say that maybe I don't want any hair. What I could do is if I click on this mark areas to remove, let's say PowerPoint uh, included more than it should have, you could simply go over and highlight and that will remove that portion of my hair. But I do like having hair, so I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. Now this looks pretty good. The magenta area is all the background that I wanna remove. The area that's left looks great, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on Keep Changes, and there I am now also removed from the background. So now both of these photos, I simply have the photo left and the background has been removed. For the slide itself, what I wanna do is, let's say I wanna insert maybe a gradient background. So I'm gonna click on the design pivot on the ribbon. I'm gonna go over and click on format background and maybe I'll throw in a gradient background. So here you see, because I've removed the background, I took the subject out from the background, now I could position it in any other type of background or any other way I want. Or maybe I want Kevin on top of Kevin. Maybe I wanna bring them closer together. Whatever I wanna do, because I've removed the background, I now have the freedom and the flexibility to put these photos wherever I want on the slide in front of any type of background. Uh, and it works very nicely. All right, well that was a very quick demonstration of how you could bring photos into PowerPoint and then remove the background from those photos, whether you have a solid background or if you have a more complex background. PowerPoint does a very nice job removing those backgrounds. If you learned how to remove backgrounds from photos in PowerPoint, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.